Welcome back everyone, this is Victor Campos and we're continuing our HTML5 project. Based on our example, we've got uh, three sections of our project, home, art, computers, and so far we've got the same, home, art, computers. Our transition is different, but you can probably figure out how to change that. Look for something called data transition in your code. Uh, we're filling in the different sections but we haven't completed the computers yet. We'll do one example and what we also want to do is this info button doesn't do anything yet. We'll make that do something. So first if we go over to computers of our example page and you click on any one of these we see more info. And then with a back. Let's do that one first. That requires a brand new page. This page looks different than the other pages. So here's what we need to do. We'll go all the way to the end of our code, and after that last slash div, we'll create another div pair. And that is a data role of page, of course. It needs a unique ID, which we'll call uh, BAS, basic. This, of course, can be any name that you want. We might as well call it basic. So these are our basic classes. We need a div for the header. Div data role header. And inside of the header we'll add an h3 and say basic classes. We need a div for content. That's after, of course, the div for header. And I'll just fill in some placeholder text. Well, how do we get from our button to this page? If you look on line 173, we've got a link from our COM101 class going to href pound. It's not going anywhere yet. So that should be actually pound basic. That's the name we just set down here, id equals basic. So we've created a page, there's a link, We want to refresh our work. Go to computers, click on COM 101, and it takes us to the basic classes with a cool slide animation. Uh, we don't have a way to we do not have a way to get back though. We need a back button here. We'll go ahead and add that. To add a back button, it's just one line of code. Go back to your um, line 216. It's one line of code, but actually, depending on the version you're using of jQuery Mobile, this line of code either goes in the div data role page or the div data role header. Our version of the code, it goes in the data role of page. So after the ID, we'll do data dash add dash back dash btn equals quotes and in the quotes we'll say true. What that does is when you click on an item now we have a simple back button back forward back forward and that was by adding data add back btn equals true to our data role of page. If this does not work for you, you're using perhaps a newer version of the code or a different version of the code, of the jQuery mobile code. If it does not work for you, simply add the same line instead to your data role of header and then try it. It should work. So we'll fill in all the details of that at a later point, but notice now our button slides over. 
we want it to look exactly like our example page where not every button has a link, just the first item in the group, simply remove the, the link code like this. If we go back to line 173, there's our COM1, COM101 button, href, basic, COM102 and COM103 also have hrefs, that is, links. Well, I'm going to remove the slash A along with the A that wraps around COM2 and also what wraps around COM103. Notice the difference. There is no tag wrapped around COM103, 102, but there is an A href tag wrapped around COM101. The result is that now not every item in that group has a button like my original. So we can click and this can show us all the info for all the basic classes. You can figure that out. You can figure out the rest of these items as well. It's the same thing we've done for the basic classes. Come back on our next video and we'll talk about creating a pop-up box.